Hey everybody, Sherwood Small Pets here. So, I'm just recovering from the Pet Expo. Um, first, I wanted to say that it was super awesome meeting a few of you, um, either spontaneously or planned. I had a great time. Uh, if I didn't see you and you were there, I hope you had a great time as well. I was really lucky and got to hang out with Skinny Pigs 1 and um, Budget Bunny as for most of Saturday, which was really cool. The other bonus was I got to spend a super long amount of time when I wasn't work, um, helping out at the booths with the Leonberger Club of Canada, which was pretty neat. Um, they were really nice people, really wonderful. Um, enjoyed talking to me about the dog, which was fantastic. Um, so I thought I would show you guys what I got. I did not have a chance to do any vlogging at all, like none. So if you want to see some pictures that I took, I will. they'll be on Facebook and my Instagram. Both are Sherwood Small Pets and Instagram. I just want to let you guys know. Um, we now have a new Instagram account for uh, the puppy since he is now 10 days old. 10 days, yeah? 10 days. Um, and that's Sherwood Burgers with an E instead of a U for burger. Um, so if you want to watch that, that way I can kind of not irritate the small pet folks on my chat like on my one account um but yeah so without further ado i will show you what i got the first things that i will show you are is just some stuff that i picked up from rachel as you guys know uh zoe and lilo's toy box is my go-to shop for small pet toys and Mer anything for merlin literally everything he owns is from her um and i wouldn't have it any other way i am going to do uh an, like a what's new in her shop video in the next couple weeks because um, she's got a lot of new items we've been working like we've expanded the guinea pig line that um, I helped her design and she's just like she's on fire so I want to show you guys those new items but um, that'll be its own thing so the first thing that I got is this super amazing um, seagrass tent um, we put the palm flowers on and then she made liners with three layers of fleece so if your chin peas or if you use this for your pigs you know you can use it's actually perfect it's actually a one by one so if you want to use like thicker pads or whatnot you can do that um, but they're they're just fantastic I absolutely love this entire design it really spruces this uh, tent up that's just kind of boring um, she did a great job with these the next things that we got are for my child, Merlin. So we got one of her um, bunk beds, uh, bunk bed hammocks, which are hugely popular with ferret, chinchilla, and rat, rat folks. Um, I love the way she makes them. The sizes are specifically for chins, but you can use them for rats and whatnot, but that way you know they're big enough. Um, I love this pattern. I think it's perfect for spring. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna get liners done in it too. Yeah, well, I mean, why not, right? And then the other thing from her, I was so busy helping making toys and stuff, I didn't get a chance to actually shop for them. Um, so this is her cylinder house. I absolutely love these. These are, I forgot to mention, the bunk beds are 23, I believe. And these cylinder houses are 15, which is a freaking bargain. So if you have chinchillas, rats, ferrets, uh, dagoos, sugar gliders, these will be phenomenal. I cannot rec recommend these more. They are so sturdy. Um, Merlin's had his first one for four and a half years. So, just to give you an idea, they hold up. Um, but yeah, make sure, I will link her shopping below. Um, she ships worldwide. There's pickups in Oshawa, Ontario and Kingston, Ontario. So if you want to save shipping and you're in this area of the GTA, um, you can message her, work with her. She's phenomenal. I adore her. Um, she worked really hard with this uh, with the expo, and uh, she did a great job. So now we're gonna work, move on to the stuff that was purchased for Baby Burger 16 uh, because there's a lot. So give me one sec. Okay, so I got him this really cute knotted um, lobster. Lobsters are a big. I love lobsters mostly because I'm a huge Friends fan, and if you guys get that, you're not too old, I swear to God. Um, but I also got him this JW um, Spiky Cuz. Uh, I've got the smaller one, but this one was like 50% off, so I was like, sweet. 
Then we got this reusable puppy pad, mostly just because um, I thought it'd be good for the first couple, like the first couple weeks, just in case, you know, accidents happen. And then after that, I can use it in the pigs' cages. Because, I mean, you, reusable puppy pads can be great for pigs. So it was a great price, so I thought, of course. Over here was just some discount dog toys, giant tennis ball. We added some burgers to the burger collection, that just for him to ruin. That's the idea. Um, they were a couple bucks. The same as we got some of these just for walking, because like I can't stand how expensive they are in the pet stores because it's so pointless. But these were like a buck. So I was like, perfect. That's more logical. Also in the discount bin was this little collapsible uh, carrying water bottle. You can clip it right on to your leash, which I think is awesome. And then we got a dog mitt for when he comes in. So those were my little discount items. Really excited about them though. Over here, we got his first piece of antler. Um, it was a nice big piece. I'm really excited about it. Then we got this collar here for when he goes in the water. It's like, uh, it's a weird uh, material that doesn't get stinky or stay soaking wet when they go in the water. And since Leo, uh, Leo's like the water so much, I thought it'd be perfect for at the cottage, for by the lake and all that stuff. So. And again, I got it for $10 off, so I was really excited. And then the most exciting part of the haul for me, um, so Mr. Sherwood thought that I was getting carried away with the bows and stuff, so he wanted to contribute. So he got a Super Mario uh, bow collar for fancy times like Thanksgiving, apparently. So, yeah, I know, that's what he said. I know. Um, so for the fancy days, he gets this collar. Um, and then uh, my best friend Dee over here, as you guys know, she's just as excited about this puppy as we are. So she got him this flower for his collar. Um, and then to go with the flowers that she got, I got these two. So what we're gonna make is kind of like a little flower crown when he comes home, um, like, cause like they're all like really cute newborn colors. Um, yes, I'm aware of how sad that sounds, but I'm really excited about it. And then in other stuff, like it's just, I'm. These are so pretty and they're big enough and I like that they've got the thick um, velcro on the back. So that is what we got from the Pet Expo. I'm very excited. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's everything. So anyhow, we had a lot of fun. If you guys went, tell me what the highlight was for you. Uh, for me, the highlights were, like I say, hanging out with all my friends and the Lean Burgers. I mean, I'm gonna say they're tied uh, because I was lucky on the Friday I got to go with um, with Dee and Mr. Sherwood and then Saturday I got to hang out with Skinny Pigs 1 and Budget Bunny so I mean it was it was a win. We also met the Hamster Ninja which was super cool and we met a couple other folks and I don't want to say your first names in case your YouTube names are different whatever but you know it was awesome meeting folks and I had a great time and I can't wait to do it again next year and um yeah that was the haul hope it wasn't too long but um yeah, let me know what you guys all did and what highlights were and all that and what you bought. Post pictures on my Facebook or whatever. Can't wait to see them. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.